Hello everyone, this is Dreadwing2029, and surprise, surprise, this is a video review of a Transformers figure. Haven't seen that one, and haven't seen those in a while. And this is of Robots in Disguise Fracture. This is actually my first ever Robots in Disguise figure. I know, can, can you hard to believe? I mean, I haven't really, I haven't really been interested in the line in general, I don't know, it's just, it just doesn't really appeal to me then compared to like the other lines like Prime and some of the movie ones and and Generations and all that, so my first Robots in the Skies of course I have to go with Fracture, so Fracture, here he is in bike mode, see so he's got some nice purple it feels like it feels like there's a bit too much purple. Like there's two different shades of purple. Like there's this lighter shade, and he got this kind of. I'm not sure if the lighting's corrected, but he got this darker shade of purple here, and he got. It's kind of really a mix of this lighter and darker shade of purple. But even in you got this. This red that kind of tries to break up. You got red highlights, there. Does is he has his gun? Just peg on either side. The gun just kind of folds out and becomes his his weapon. Now I can't really remember this character of Robots in the Skies, but but I do remember the um the episode where he fights drift and he had the, the two mini cons shooting out of his um shoulder pads so he can roll he, he rolls pretty fine he does have a little bit of a kickstand to, to hold him up he looks all right um how do we exactly transform well transformations and robots in the skies i've seen a few reviews of like pr and and Optobotomus, the, the transformations of Robots in the Skies figures are fairly simple. You just want to take this off and put that on there. You want to fold this up and kind of peg it in there, like that. So it looks, it looks like a, it looks like the, the front part of the bike has somehow came off and now it's looks like the motorcycle has been split um, separated. You wanna go to here, you wanna take off his arms, like that, and you wanna fold down his legs, and about his flat feet, very very flat, and you just wanna separate them, like that, yeah there we go, hold up the kickstand, there he is so far. Just want to undo this. This will separate his shoulders and his show off his body. Just want to flip this around to reveal the head. And for the last step, you just take off. The you reveal the arms basically, his claw hands, and there is fracture. Overall, in pretty good rubber mode. I would like to see like the shoulder pads. You can fire the um, the mini cons coming out of the shoulders. There is um. Another version of Fracture that does that, that a uh, Minicon launcher. So, I guess that's all fine and if you really want that, then that's all fine and good, but... Oh my god. Yes, there it is. There we go, there's the... Finally adjusted the camera there, took a little bit, but... You can see in more of the robot mode. Let's take a closer look. And it's... Without knocking over the camera. Here's that punk rock mohawk. 
people claim this claim that Fracture kind of looks like Starscream, he, like his head on the show. Which people thought, oh, this might be Starscream, but it's actually not. There's the Decepticon symbol, which he's scan, scan for the robots in the sky game. Haven't really done that. Haven't really played the robots in the skies game. Overall, I really, I really do like the robot mode. It's very streamlined. It's, it's very narrow. There's no kibble hanging off of him besides, of course, the front of the bike. It's very, very slick. Of course, you have his weapon, his pipu gun. I like to hold in both hands, make it look like he's hunting down Autobots. So I've seen this a lot on review, other reviews of this guy, you can take this and plug it into his hand like a, like he's, like he's trying to be a wannabe Megatron, pretty much. And how big is Fracture? Well, here he is next to a Viacon from Robots and, um, from the Prime line, Robots in the Skies. The Vehicon is actually taller than Fracture. Because Fracture, I think the robots in this, I think the line, Robots in the Skies, the new one, they've, um, they've definitely kind of shrunken down their Transformers figures. I don't know, just, just seems that way. And for shits and giggles, here he is next to a Amiibo. A Mario Amiibo. So he's definitely bigger than an Amiibo. I, I do kind of prefer his robot mode over his uh, bike mode. Obviously because he has a lot more um, paint app showing. He has the silver, he has the black. Kind of just break up the purple, I think. I think he, I think he needs a lot more like silver or black to try to break up the purple because I think there's way too much purple in this guy. Because, but even though Cyclonus has a lot, of, even though there's whole other Decepticons that have purple color schemes like Galvatron, Cyclonus, etc. But I guess they have really have something else other than purple. I mean, Galvatron has that kind of grey in the legs and, of course, the red. And Cyclonus, Cyclonus is pretty much entirely purple, so can't really count kind of him as an example. But I reckon there's too much purple in this guy. That's just my thoughts. And now, for the first time ever, I'm going to show you how to transform him back. Because, because I want to. Just fold back his hands, first off, strain him out, and just take this, fold it up. And these bits kind of come together. I'll extend that. Bits kind of come together to form the seat of the bike. Fold up his arms. We're gonna fold up his legs. And then there's a peg right there that you just slot it in. Just fold up his legs. Like so. Make sure it's pegged in. And then you just push this in until you hear a snap. And of course I didn't even... Wow, I didn't even peg it peg in the legs. Brilliant. And then you just peg it in like that. Like a click. Do the click. Just my camera. Of course, you take the weapon. And you slot it in there. Of course, it doesn't want to peg in, it is very loose. There we are. There is Fracture. Now what I think is Fracture? Fracture is a pretty decent figure. I mean, if... I reckon he's a good start for 
a Robots in Disguise collection if you're starting to get into collecting Robots in Disguise figures. I mean, you don't have to completely get the Robots in Disguise line, it's there if you really want to collect them. If you're one of those completionists or you're just interested in it because of the show, doesn't really matter, but Fracture. Fracture is a pretty good piece. I reckon there's a lot of purple, especially in bike mode. This is too much purple for this guy. I mean, you got the, the red and the silver trying to break it up, but there's a bit too much purple for this for this one. So, there's Fracture. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you comment, rate, and subscribe. This has been Dreadwing2029. Signing off.